Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yezreel. Welcome once again to Alpha Complex, where everything is perfect and happiness is mandatory. That is me, Yezreel One. I am a troubleshooter. I find trouble and shoot it. And for today's trouble, well, we're off to see friend computer to find out what that's going to be. Hail, friend computer. Troubleshooters, welcome to your mission briefing. A new assignment has been compiled for you. Excellent. What do we have? Sector EBU has logged three Class A 5-2C efficiency violations in the past shift cycle. You are required to take the transbot to the sector and report to local insect. Aha! Insec, of course, are internal security. They are the police of Alpha Quadrant. You are then to assist in second finding the cause of these efficiency violations. Of course, friend computer. You are to cooperate with Insec in restoring standard efficiency to the sector. As always, you must report to R and D for your mandatory testing assignment. Do you have any questions, troubleshooter? I have no questions, friend computer. I am confident that I am fully briefed and prepared. If you are incapable of carrying out either or both assignments, please self-terminate at your earliest convenience so that I may assign a more capable team. Of course, friend computer, of course. Team leader, you may now nominate three officers to join you on your mission. Excellent, and we have a new officer a to new choose officer from. Has been assigned to your team. Huzzah! Indeed, Brendan RBRN1, our loyalty officer, uh, he is exactly what you think it is, and astonishingly, loyalty officers are 103% more likely to be shot than other troubleshooters on the mission. It really is a most fascinating statistic. So, who are we going to take? Hmm, let me see. We'll take Ryan. The drugs are interesting. And useful, although he doesn't seem too happy to come on the job. We'll also take Betty along, of course. And let's see. There is Alice, our Mop 2. However, she does maintain... And there is, of course, Brendan, paperwork master. Absolutely preemptive and an excellent loyalty officer. Totally not a commissar. Commissars get to shoot their own traitors. And, well, Brendan... Yeah, we'll see you about that. The code for your mission. We deem this at your nearest vending machine. Tell Absolutely. The symbols. Commencing mission. Report to R and D for a fun and mandatory testing assignment. Remember, trust no one. Report everything. But most importantly, remain happy. Happiness is mandatory. Glory, hail, friend computer. Let us head off to R and D and see what they will see. Let's also pick up our equipment from the vending machine, and see what goes. Oh, there's a new one. Travel straight outfits are so stylish. They just scream, stop, traitor. Okay. Up to the R&D lab. I mean, it can't be worse than a uh, cowardly scrub bot, can it? Hmm. Maybe it can. Troubleshooter, welcome, welcome. What do I have to test today? We want you to try the blind taste test of experimental flavor 72 on citizens. Is that a code day for an experimental weapon that might backfire on me? It's R&D. You would be surprised. Backfiring might be a feature if anything should backfire. Notice in the port. Okay, so what do I need to do again? First, when you're out testing, don't blind the citizen. Yes. Yeah. I... Oh dear. Somebody misunderstood blind taste test, didn't they? Don't blind anyone. No problem. I have to get valuable feedback. Here's a pack of bouncy bubble beverage cans. Don't drink them all. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, it's probably best you didn't drink any of them. Okay, so we need to get some uh, taste feedback from six citizens on bouncy bubble beverage. Experimental flavor 72. Don't ask about the other 71. Now, let's use my vent code. I have personal equipment. Well, we've got red clearance, laser rifle, bandages, red laser barrels, pocket cold fun, pocket hot fun. And we'll also pick up some various uh, buffs as well. Oh, we have pocket hot fun to boost our mechanical ability. Crunchy algae chips, pocket cold fun. Yoink. And we'll also grab 
Uh, yeah, let's grab some pyroxidine and some BBB Classic. And it never hurts to have a spare laser barrel. Excellent. So we have all options. All we have to do now is take our transport to the sector, pick up our mission, and then we shall proceed from there to serve friend computer to find trouble and to shoot it. These are important things that must be done. Are we all ready to go? Yep, we are ready to go. Yes, high clearance is clearly better. High clearance citizens are remarkably less likely to die in accidents. At least, accidental accidents. The non-accidental kind of accident, well, that is more... Well, less accidental and more treasonous. So we also have our bouncy bubble beverage, which I can park here. Perfect. Now, who else we have? We have Brendan, the loyalty officer, Betty, the hygiene officer, and looks like everybody else is reasonably well equipped. So, forwards, forwards, loyal citizens. Let's go talk to Insec and also see if we can't get some... Uh, Bouncy bubble beverage on the go. Oh, wait, no, I probably shouldn't. I should probably only throw one of these unless I can talk to a citizen somehow. There you are. Hello there, sir. Can you uh, help me with this? Hmm, apparently not. Hmm, heal 20%. Instead, it might stun you for two seconds. Tastes like. Tastes like loyalty! Loyalty's friend computer, of course. And there's our contact with Insec. For those of you not familiar with Insec, it's short for Internal Security. They are the police of Alpha Complex. Why do we have police when we have troubleshooters, you might ask? Well, you might also ask why we have troubleshooters when we have Insec, and Insec asks that question on a regular basis. Homicide, genocide, technocide, except pesticide, because that would be a maintenance responsibility. What's wrong with pesticide? It's below his pay grade, but it's perfect for janitors and hygiene officers. Yeah. Insect do not like troubleshooters. If insect are calling in the troubleshooters, it's usually because they need somebody to take the fall for an operation that's been spectacularly botched. What am I cleared to know? Three citizens have been killed in the sector under mysterious circumstances. Insect sealed off the crime scenes and detained any pertinent witnesses. We need to question the witnesses, determine if the results of treasonous sabotage caused these deaths, and then report back to Bryce, who will doubtless take all the credit and proceed to palm any awkward moments off onto the team, because, hey, this is paranoia. I'll go question the witnesses now, quickly, before they have time to think up credible alibis. The crime scenes are all in the strict control of my fellow insect agents. I doubt they will let you disturb them, but you are welcome to grovel at their feet. Oh, great. And because they're blue clearance, we can't simply order them out of the way. So, what have we got? I was sort of going to be Cecil B, Insect Crowd Control Specialist. What do you want? We're here to investigate the incident. We need to speak with any witnesses you have about what happened here, besides the obvious unsanctioned termination. Uh huh. And the corpse that's been detained too. Nobody else will contaminate the evidence. To which our hygiene officer pops up. Contaminate? We'll decontaminate this putrid mess. It take that bow says hygiene officer, and I'll have you know I take my job seriously. And it's agent Cecil B, insect crowd control specialist. We, yeah, insects really don't like troubleshooters. But we really do need to take a look around, and I need some algae chips. We can't have everything we want, or the next one, troubleshooters. Hmm, algae chips, you say? Or there is a permit for these suspects and that body? Hmm. Yes. Yes, algae chips, you say. Oh, yes. I you would like to speak to mm, the witnesses. Well, there's only one that's uh, speakable, but uh, okay, we'll go for it. Well, a coincidence, I would like to speak to the witnesses. Go right ahead. I have a few more questions. What can you tell me about the victim? That dead guy over there. Victim, cause of death, traitor scheme to destroy Alpha Complex, you fiddly out the... F ah, right, okay. Please note... I mentioned in the last episode, your clearance level is nothing to do with your competence. He might be blue clearance, but that doesn't mean he's any good at his job. 
I have a few more questions. Tell me about the witness. Bada, a traitor for short. He works in Blush Repair. Everyone knows what they get up to. Mmm. Treason. Is their connection to the crime? Proximity. Suspicious proximity. Also, they said they didn't know anything, so they're clearly hiding something. Did you just grab a citizen from the corridor? Uh, ha. I'll get back to my investigation. You do that and enjoy those uh, crunch chips. So, slight problem. That's an orange clearance citizen in an orange clearance zone, but uh, better not get too close. They're not cleared to stay in that zone. Examine the body. Blunt trauma to the back of the head. The can on the ground is the likely cause. Do I have any engineering skill? I wonder, what happens if I pop some pocket cold fun? Yes, this might help. After all, this stuff does increase your brain's attribute by one for three minutes. Nom! Right, let's have another look at this. I still don't have any engineering skills. Oh, well, let's go talk to the witness instead. I need something that can boost my engineering skill. Praise friend computer troubleshoot has arrived. We are here to help you. Well, if you're innocent, you don't have anything to worry about, citizen. For a moment I thought I was a prime suspect in the grizzly murder. You are the prime suspect in a grizzly murder. Ah, oh, yes, yes, you're you're innocent. I mean, well, you say you're innocent, then yes, you have nothing to fear. But you are also the prime suspect in the grisly murder, citizen. So not until you answer the unordinate number of questions I have in front of me, citizen. Ah, good, good. Happiness officer, this citizen appears to be somewhat stressed. And also, I am authorized to search you. So, well, where were you when the incident occurred? I was leaving the room. You heard a crunk, and when you turned around, the citizen was dead. Hmm... High speed impact of a can, eh? So you didn't see the killer and you were alone with the victim. I know how to sound, I didn't do it. A traitor must have been hiding it in the shadows somewhere. I have more questions. What were you doing here? It was my brake cycle. I was coming here on my brake cycle. It's my favorite. Uh huh. Meeting with a secret society contact, were you? What's so special about this cafe? It's the. Okay, fine. That actually makes a reasonable amount of sense. I had other questions I would ask. Right, Bureaucracy, I'm authorised to search you. Spread them, citizen. Okay, uh, don't worry, we will be. You might even bother with the rubber gloves. What do we have here, troubleshooters? Wait, what is it? Contraband! A bitcoin stick, eh? Tut tut, possession of bitcoin is treason. Uh huh. Where did you get this? Right, I found this on the ground. I was going to be a good system, put it in the bin, but the Inkcoin insect officer told him trees. So you just happened to be holding the incriminating contraband when the insect officer told you to freeze. A likely story. And it seems the loyalty officer believes with me. You would never walk around with contraband, except that you were walking around with contraband. Tut, tut, tut. That's a violation, citizen. Room 101 in the offices next to the cinema, eh? Okay, let's move on. So, we now have a possible lead checking out the offices next to the cinema. So, oh, ah, no, don't step onto the uh, orange clearance section. Hmm, vending machines and what looks like, looks like a transport terminal. Do, 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 do. So we have one uh, orange clearance area up here, and we also have our, ah, we have the cinema. Perfect. That just means we need to start finding the offices. Uh, While well, we're talking to our blue clearance trooper, of course, Barry Bell 6. Move along, citizen. I'm special, at least that's what he tells me. I'm a troubleshooter. I was ordered by Frank Computer to interrogate this witness and examine this crime scene. And he was ordered to say, this is a restricted area. Move along, citizen. Okay. Right. Um, happiness officer, this citizen needs your help. Yes, he does. Huh? You want me to? Yeah, yeah, right. I, this citizen is clearly stressed and by his work. Um, he's been working far too hard. His happiness levels appear to be dangerously low. 
Uh -huh, which is exactly what you would say. I mean, we could, you're on your last clone system. Right? Note the number six there. We couldn't possibly have Frank Computer thinking you were unhappy. Nobody needs happiness pills. You should want them. Here, take a handful. Isn't that more than the prescriber? But you want to be extra happy, citizen. These things are important. You can never have enough happiness. Hmm. Do we need to report this? I notice your phone number is six. Be a shame if he overdosed. Uh, fine, go speak to the witnesses. Excellent, that's the response we wanted. So, what do we have here? Hey, I know this bit. The witness is being annoying. Okay, pew pew pew. Teela O'Malley, Modisha. Citizen, you're the witness here. Did you see what happened to the victim? He was watching Tila O'Malley. He loves Tila O'Malley. You get to watch what she was doing missions. It's a cavalcade of heroic sacrifice. Uh, wonderful. Uh, it's absolutely not filmed live action on troubleshooter missions, by the way. Honest. And then they let you watch the show while they scrub. Ah, right. Yes, brain scrubbing. That's uh, That would explain so, so much about Don Dricker and Key. Here, wouldn't it? So, you were watching Tila O'Malley when the victim was killed? This is such a boy. Oh, he thinks he's in a Tila O'Malley episode. Let's try another approach. What Tila O'Malley episode? The episode that you're watching is really immersive. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, that brain scrub really worked, didn't it? Wow. Actually, this episode is called The Helpful Witness. Would you like to star in it? Mm-hmm. Just before the victim got killed, I know he got really annoyed with the vending machine over there. Wasn't happy with it all. Uh, huh? Okay, so we have one guy get killed by a ballistic drinks can, and another guy gets killed by a vending machine. Maybe? Maybe? Hmm, now the skull's all melty. Right. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your cooperation, citizen. Ten nanobots. Excellent. Right. Check the victim. Let's see what we've got. Right. Check the body. They, the door cut the body in half. Yeesh. It should have detected the victim's presence and it stopped moving, but it didn't. And the result is, um, messy. You should see the other half, but I think the scrub bots got to it first. Check the door. Looks like the door was tampered with. This wasn't an accident. It was sabotage. Okay, so somebody sabotaged the door, which means they were probably on the network. Ah. Unlock new items for sale. Okay, well, we'll pass away from that for the moment. I don't think it's going to help us. But if the door was hacked... I wonder if the door could have been hacked. That's two vending machine related accidents now, isn't it? Hmm. Right. We still need to get this taste test feedback as well. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Feedback from zero six citizens, none of whom I can talk to. Uh, I wonder what happens if I try throwing the bouncy bubble beverage. So we'll... Uh, Split the stack for a second. Toss that. And then we'll throw this to you. Catch, citizen. Ah, no, no, no. Scrubbot. Wait. Got it. Thank you, Scrubbot. Frustrating somewhat when they uh, do that. Who got it? Hmm, not sure. Anyhow, let us fire up another stack of... BBB 72 and find a stationary target. Oh. That wasn't what I meant to do. So, control click this time. Queue it up. Leave the inventory and right click to throw. Come on, citizen. Try your best with some bouncy bubble beverage. Yink. Get it quick. Scrub up, loot. There we go. Need to actually hit one of these citizens with the bouncy bubble beverage. 
we'll try this again. Great. And away goes the scrub bot. There we go. Sorry, little scrub bot, your uh, position in life remains unchanged. Still need to find out how to do this. Right. Officer! Ah, top shoot, you're too late. I've already solved this mystery. Through deductive reasoning, I've precisely determined the full extent of the heinous treason that links all three crime scenes. What? Vending machines? A terrorist ceiling conspiracy. One squashed by a closing door. One crushed by a vending machine. Third, skull broken by a mysterious projectile. It was a drinks can, not an alpha complex roof tile. My gravity, obviously the source of gravity in this sector has been rendered unstable by some vile trick. Eh. Wow. Eh? This is... This is special, even by the standards of insect troopers. Have you ever looked up? Is it considered treasonous? Do so now, what do you see? A, a ceiling. Yes, precisely. Half the floor space of Alpha Complex is ceiling. But if the enemy were precisely to invert gravity, they could conquer the vast territory above our very heads. An inverted army using gravity manipulate. Uh, the. 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 Oh. Okay, possibly four. Recap. Idiot, clearly all three victims were enemy agents experimenting with gravity manipulating tech. Not. Wow, he really is special. Right. Noted. I'll put down on uh, my book. Right after I'm done self medicating agents, I recommend you turn them to a sort of page of the ceiling qualities. Okay, yes. Um, maybe a witness could back up your theory. If that's necessary, uh, maybe. Maybe that's a risk we're willing to take, though, for the good of Alpha Complex. Very well, I order you to question the witnesses. Thank you, Blue Clearance Trooper. I will comply with the orders of a higher clearance citizen for the good of Alpha Complex. Can I get you out for this? I don't know. What would this be? If you cooperate, I'm sure we can help. Any suspicious activity around here? You mean like the dead? Yeah, like that, yes. Exactly. No, not the same. I have seen an unusual number of mattresses with boot prints on them, like people walking or climbing on their beds, usually the top bunk too. Hmm. Interesting. Who are you? He's a mattress tester. I have other questions. What did you see? Saw these swirling colours and Frank Computer was there and you were there. Oh, right. You've been taking the same drugs as our happiness officer, haven't you? Uh, huh? What? Wait, you know each other? Oh, okay. Shared hallucinations? Um, define normal. That's an excellent point. I was asleep. I woke up here, here. Right, yes. He has some ideas that are interesting, to say the least. And here we are with one dead citizen. Troubleshoot, I have important... Etc, etc. I know the traitor you seek. We'll speak privately. We'll speak alone over there in that dead zone. Ah, ha. Is this a scam? The ultimate truth revealed only to you and you alone. That'd be my fellow troubleshooters. No, this is... This sounds like a ploy to harvest my organs, but let's play along. That seems perfectly reasonable. Everything will be revealed. Uh, ah, right, okay. Well, let's have a look at the crime scene first. What have we got? The vending machine came away from the wall and crushed the citizen. Maybe he was shaking it instead of calling. A duly authorized vending machine takes this lodge the item. I'm not saying he deserved his death, but well, let's have a look at this body. Hey, his back is to the vending machine, so he couldn't have pulled it down. So somebody else toppled the machine on him. Yeah, murder, 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 most foul and most point most unauthorized, which is vitally important. Hello, citizen. Wait, no, I'd hurt Trace. That is the right attitude, Nafar JZI1. Happiness officer, uh, just get her drugged up, please. Here you are, citizen. Now, I've been assigned to question all witnesses. What do you see? I'm not a witness, I'm a suspect. Even more suspect now, citizen, believe me. What did you see? You found the body and immediately reported to Tell Security. That was the right thing to do. And then it was suspicious that you'd report the body they thought was trying to cover up the murder. 
Right. Yep, this sounds like insect. This sounds like insect. How did you find the body? I was walking down the corridor and past the vending machine. There wasn't anyone else around. The victim was still alive. It didn't dispense his order. Did you not see how the victim died? And you went to the door when you got a call. Yay! I'm getting through. Felt a little unhappy, so you took a happiness pill. So basically, splutch. Right. So the victim was completely alone in the hall when the vending machine somehow toppled on top of him. Hmm. Interesting. So we have an isolated vending machine chopping a victim in half. We have an isolated vending machine somehow landing on and crushing a victim. And we have what might be a vending machine dispensing a can at very high speed. Yeah. The vending machines are... Are they sentient in this game? I cannot remember. I suppose it depends on the vending machine and the game master. And, well, this is Alpha Complex. Don't rule it out. Let me ask you something else. Do you see anything suspicious? Yes, I'm the prime suspect. That means I'm under suspicion, which means I'm suspicious and I'm aware of myself. So the answer is, yes, me, but I swear I'm innocent. I didn't kill him. It wasn't a trick question. So who are you? He processes forms HP 5939A through F. Okay. Special exception. What now? You don't have to understand the forms. You just have to process them. Hmm. And I think we're done here without it. Troubleshooters. Ah, uh, right. Bryce wants us back. Okay. In the meantime, however, we need to uh, go check out our yellow friend who wants a word. Now, I'm quite certain this is a trap of some description, but let's find out what's going on here. Finally, we can speak on see as humans do. You said you had information about my mission. Will be revealed, but no, this Alpha Complex needs your help. Uh huh. Is this a fundraiser? I don't have any spare credits. We're not asked here for donations. This isn't an elaborate plan to harvest my organs. Not your organs, anyway. Oh, oh, wait, what? You represent an organization of loyal citizens, loyal humans. Okay. There are those that aim to subvert our beloved Alpha Complex. They have infiltrated the highest level society. Is this a loyalty test? Right. Your loyalty doesn't need to test you. Are a new clone. They haven't had a chance to corrupt you yet. They continue. Many of our so-called citizens are actually reptiloid. Scaly, cold-blooded, inhuman. But... Okay. This isn't the most insane thing we're going to hear. Do you have any proof? That's classified information. You think everything is working as designed? Frank computer is perfect, so of course everything is working as designed. Or is it being sabotaged by alien lizard and monsters wearing masks of human flesh? Well, actually, now that you mention it... Okay, are you the outstanding citizen we believe you'd be? Are you a free human or nothing more than a walking slice of hot fun for some reptiloid to devour? You're clearly insane. I'm going back to my team. Yeah, Secret Society Recruitment 101. Don't come out with the bonkers crazy theories right away. They got to me first. Or worse, some of them die, lizard. Right, team, get in here. Actually, two, sprint, three, sprint, four, sprint, there we go. One, just start shooting. Pew, pew. There we go. The Terminators are traded. Oh, the Terminator had a friend. You pew him as well. And then quickly take all his stuff before we uh, need to get anything else. Ooh, mutant DNA glowing mushrooms. Interesting. Also some bouncy bubble beverage orange clearance, which means that, uh, well, we probably shouldn't technically have it. I mean, that... Uh, is contraband after all. But yeah, it was in the dead zone. Nobody saw anything, so bizarre. Right, Bryce. The investigation went well, and yes, we have successfully deduced what is behind these heinous incidents. It's the vending machines. Prove it. A can was shot from a vending machine in the cafeteria, we think. In a similar door proximity detector was remotely accessed. The victim was 
passing using a vending machine on the same network, thereby triggering the trap. The vending machine in the hallway fell and victimized back returns. He couldn't have toppled it on himself. Hmm, the investigation makes it sound remotely plausible. Now all we have to do is catch the traitor and his traitor allies. Okay. Can Insect offer any help? Is me having to tell you... It, it is all the help I need. Thank you, loyal Insect officer. I thought you'd like to be there personally when we catch the traitors. Right. That's exactly what you and the report will say. Uh, ha. What do you need us to do? Okay, split up and stake out as many of the crime scenes as you can. Maybe keep some in the hallway too if you can. And when we spot the traitor, follow them and don't be seen. I want to catch the entire network. Alright. So, we need to split up. So, contact one, head over there. Contact two, head to there. Contact three, watch the hallway. And contact four, watch the cinema. Do your positions, troubleshooters. Do we have anyone suspicious? Oop, let's just get into position properly first. Okay. Oh, there we go. Troubleshooters, we are in position. Yes, we are in position. Hallway, check. Canteen, check. Loyalty room, check. Hologram, check. The troubleshooters, don't let the suspect get too close to you. Okay, team, look sharp. Uh, just like being a cafeteria monitor. Um, yes. Although those are both forms of treason. When they say shoot either of them, and that is exactly the right attitude, citizen. No disintegrations, no shooting. We're here to watch, not intervene. Ah, it's even less dangerous than cafeteria monitoring then. I've totally got this. Do we have somebody? Where is our traitor? Hmm. Follow that citizen. That's my line, troubleshooter. Oh, well. Follow that citizen. We have a contact. Oh, we can interact with them if need be. So... What's going to happen here? All right, close the entire team down. Yep. So he's he's fiddling with each of the suspect vending machines. Keep following. I'm going to try to access their core tech. Yep. Get out of his way quickly. We do not want to be uh, quarters suspects after all. There we go. Do any luck hacking their core tech? This is the one. Now what? Keep on the traitor. I want to know where they're hiding. Okay, well, we can certainly keep on the traitor. You, get back here. Uh huh. He's heading into an orange clearance zone. We can't legally go in there. That's a problem. Let the trade go. I will take it from here. Finish up your assignments. Return to friend computer. So what we have to do now is uh, do our bouncy bubble beverage taste testing. Yay! How fun this will be. Fun, 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 fun. In fact, let's start with our very own fun man himself, Insect Agent. Stop wasting my time. Okay, he's not interested. So, can we throw this to a citizen? Citizen! Hmm. Did that work? Did we get our feedback on the bouncy bubble beverage? Here we are. How many assist you drop you? Test experimental flavor 72. Fancy a tasty test. Excellent. Oh, just no one slurp. Hmm. This is incredible. The intense flavor, the bubbling sensation, the electrical impulses in the back of my eyes. So you like it then? Ah. 
Okay, wow, what did they put in this? Hmm. He also just ate the can. It is also incredibly addictive. Oh, yay. That is good. Right, citizen. Test experimental flavor 72. Fancy a tasty taste of this fancy bubble beverage? Do I? Yes. Look, hmm. It's privileged. I don't know if it's exposed to radiation, but it's the tastiest beverage I ever had. If this was a new flavor fancy bubble beverage, which is, of course, impossible. Okay, so it seems to enjoy new flavor. Not just internally monologuing. Oh, neat slurp. Yes, absolutely. Right, next citizen. Test this experimental flavor. Hmm. Absolutely not. Move along, citizen. It must be. Nothing to see here. Thank you for your participation. Uh, oh, it is bouncy beverage. Extra classic. Enjoy. Do I have to terminate that citizen before they say anything awkward? How can I assist you? Try this experimental flavor. Hmm, okay, sure. Slip. Hmm, cool, thanks. Why are you staring at me? Just make sure you're enjoying your totally normal bouncy bubble beverage. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't taste different. No, I've had 16 days, so I know. No burning or freezing sensations? No, why would that be? No nausea or wizards? No hallucinating pink scrubots floating around the room? Uh, no, no, no. New experimental and deadly flavor. Apart from some possible mild, unexplained paranoia. Uh, heck, yes. Yes, absolutely. Oh, good. They fixed the vending machine. We'll get a scrub off along to deal with the uh, red clearance stain in a moment. You can taste, test this totally normal bouncy bubble beverage. Hmm, interesting. Is something amiss with it? It's a bit strange. It tastes like, ah, uh, oh my, he died. Without telling me what it tastes like. Hmm, people will think it's just diet bouncy bubble beverage if we mark it as tastes like death. Citizen, uh, this citizen was just lying here when we arrived. We have nothing to do with it. Uh, yes? Okay. Have you ever cleaned bodily fluids from grout? It takes a while. Uh, no, you don't. I leave jobs like that for life to you. Believe me, we'll clean this place up right away. Okay. Let's get started, then. Leave it for the scrub bots. I'm not touching that thing. Okay. Come on, good little scrub bot. Do your stuff. We. Wait, scrub bot? Where are you going? Ah, who cares? Try this experimental flavour. Sure, there's nothing better than a good old BBB. Hmm, ew. He doesn't like it. The most disgusting thing. It's way better to say. Subject does notice the flavors and moderately appreciates it. Wait, why is there no use by date? That's. Pro it's probably a product defect. For a second there, he thought it was a new flavor. What a relief. So, our R&D mission is complete. We have a success rate of approximately 84%. On the new favor of bouncy bubble beverage and no treason has been committed not that any treason would be committed we are troubleshooters we do not commit treason we hunt treason down along with other trouble and then we shoot it so back to the hub let us go and report to friend computer after we've quietly offloaded some excess ammunition equipment food other stuff yep you know how it goes. Round we go, round and round and round we go. And okay, so fellow troubleshooters, just um, quietly hand me all your spare gear. Any uh, awkward um, items that might possibly be in some way incriminating. Anything that might get confiscated off us just before the uh, computer pulls us in for a debrief. There's nothing suspicious about this. Why would you think such a thing at all, citizens? Such things are vitally important. Ooh, glowing shrooms, eh? Interesting. So we have all our spare ammunition. That's quietly stockpiled back. We'll drop those spare parts as well. And, well, we can't be too suspicious about this, so we'll just uh, wander off here. Just just wait here, guys. Nothing suspicious is going to happen while I wander off into my secret stash. Wait, did I say secret stash? I mean totally normal and absolutely non-suspicious uh, footlocker. Yes, yes, totally. 
Nothing suspicious here at all. Definitely no highly classified bouncy bubble beverage. Hmm, absolutely not. I can't stash anything else. Oops, that... Oh, well. Nothing could go wrong at this point. Absolutely nothing could go wrong at all. To the debriefing. Nobody has committed any form of treason. And we have found our back, options. Excellent. Hello. Greetings, friend computer. What are the odds that he actually said that we found the traitor for him? Yes, we do. A strange citizen approached me asking me to join a secret society. I terminated the traitor. Terminating traitors is the responsibility of all loyal citizens of Alpha Complex. Traitors are not citizens like us. Traitors do not deserve a chance to subvert you through rational dialogue. Joining a secret society is treason, of course. So, naturally, you would terminate the traitor. Vending machines were terminating citizens. Thank you, friend computer. And Insect had us do all the work. That is correct, troubleshooter. Insect is clear to give you instructions. Understood, friend computer. That is everything. Report process. Proceeding with debriefing. According to Insect, you underperformed in your investigation in every conceivable way. Bright Sea has recommended your termination and that your future clones be assigned to reactor shielding duty. Of course he did, because he doesn't want to share the credit. And since he's a blue clearance citizen and we're reds, guess who the computer's going to believe? Mmm. Okay, thank you, friend computer. You are welcome, troubleshooter. It is time to continue with your debriefing. According to the report, an unknown citizen sabotaged the vending machine network to carry out unauthorized terminations of citizens. That is correct. Uh, should I really carry on moaning about insect? Uh, probably, probably not wise. No, that's yeah, correct, Frank right Computer. Now. Citizen Bryce B said he would catch the traitor. There is no record of insect attempting to catch the traitor. Hmm. Bryce B must be a traitor then, or Bryce B has obviously failed and is covering it up. Ugh. Let's go with option two. It sounds safer than just straightforwardly accusing a blue clearance insect agent of treason, after all. A troubleshooter team has been assigned to investigate Bryce B. Excellent. Congratulations, troubleshooter. Your assignment has been deemed a success. Thank you. Uh, does that mean the 18% treason level is going to get scrubbed from my record? What about the traitor? Oh, wonderful. Guess what's going to get picked up as our next mission? Oh, yes, this. No, I observed no treasonous activity by my team, friend computer. Nothing to report. Everything went according to the glorious plan. All hail, friend yes. computer. Oh, hail. Hmm. Moving on. Anyone else? Do you have anything to report about the mission? Nothing to report. Ryan was too stoned to notice anything. Let's be honest here. Correct. Oh, hail. Hmm. Moving on. Troubleshooter. Do you have and the loyalty officer. If anyone's going to rat, it's going to be him. Nothing to report. All hail, friend computer. Oh, hail. Hmm. Moving on. This concludes your debriefing, citizen. Please report to R and D immediately. Excellent. So, n no treason except for that little bit that Ryan, sorry, Bryce saddled us with. Don't worry, we'll get him at some point. There's a troubleshooter team going for him after all. And now it's time to talk to R&D about the uh, bouncy bubble beverage. We had one reaction of euphoria, a few mild approvals, one disapproval, and one death. So I think we might have terminated some of the test subjects.
Uh, any symptoms? Here is dying an unusual symptom. Around here, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, maybe I'll try arsenic oversight. Maybe, yes. I will add this to the list of fatal experiments. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, all that's left to do is finish the day. Head back to the sleep cycle, hit the bunk, and relax as we close out another day of troubleshooting and gloriously serving friend computer in Alpha Complex. And remember, citizens, happiness is mandatory.